So the the video was why do goats over cows or why do cows over goats? If you have a lot of land, um, it's nice to do cows. But no matter how much land you have, a cow is, a good cow is going to be expensive. They're twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for just an average uh, dairy cow. And um, whereas for an average milk goat, it's $150. So you could either raise four or five dairy goats that cost you $150 a piece. And if you lose one of them, if one of them dies or gets hurt, you're out $150. With a, a dairy cow, um, you're out $1,200 to $1,500 plus your vet fees if, if it was a big emergency type thing. Now, I raised goats and cows as a kid. We had a brown Swiss. And then we raised um, Holstein uh, steers. And at the same time, we had several different breeds of um, goats. And um, what I learned from that was that the cost and the care of a dairy cow is enormously, exponentially greater than for a goat. For poor people, for people on a budget, go goats every time. And a lot of people are like, well, what about the cream? What about the butter? So for my opinion, I much prefer to cook with lard or duck fat than... Um, homemade butter the reason is is that homemade butter goes rancid very very quickly unless you pasteurize your cream and your milk before you make your butter then if it's pasteurized it doesn't go rancid however um i have been making butter since i was like how old 10 and i have never found a homemade butter that doesn't smell funny when it's cooked with like for frying and sauteing and stuff and um that was even when we washed it really well got all the milk out of it it just i don't like to cook with it i would much prefer to cook with duck fat so if cream and butter are your reasons for wanting a cow um you can do cream from a goat i have a cream separator that we got for like 79 dollars on ebay that was brand new it's hand crank it works fantastic i've made goat butter it's as far as homemade butter goes it's fantastic it's good fresh on things again i don't like to cook with it um that's just my personal i just think my other fats are so much nicer to cook with um goats are easier for a small person to handle or even for a man i mean cows are huge even if you're a big man they can still smack you into a wall and decide they're not going to go somewhere where is with a goat if they really won't go anywhere you can just pick them up and take them um you don't have to worry as much about having your kids around them if your goat doesn't have horns there's not much they can do to hurt a child um they eat less they their poop is much tidier than cow poop cow poop is very sloppy goat poop is in pellets um easier to get them somewhere to be bred and so i mean you can see i'm a goat person i definitely am a goat person um i think cows are lovely i don't want to own one when we first got here we had a a, a mini zebu just because we wanted to see do we want to go into cows or do we want to just go into goats because that's what mom wants to do and again even though she was little she's only about 350 pounds she could still put me up against a wall and um, for a cow big enough that you can get a lot of milk out of them, their health is very delicate. Um, you saw Grover Clan Acres, they had, first the calf died. Um, we don't know if it was birth complications or if it had died inside or, or what. The calf died and then she got uh, milk fever. And milk fever will kill cows. Uh, we lost three cows when I was a kid to milk fever. Um, and so they had the vet bills to pay for for that and then you have all the special feed and um, Grain and everything the mineral supplements you give to a cow and they go through a huge amount